Hi, it's January 11th, 2012, and I'm at the site of the former Topeka State Hospital. Um, and now there's really nothing to see. Um, these open fields here are where the structure used to be. Or, well, the two rather large structures. Um, I'll try to link you to images of the Victorian um, buildings that housed a lot of patients through the 1990s when a lot of asset stripping was happening in the mental health field and a lot of the um, projects and experiments that were being run on human guinea pigs or uh, there was legitimate treatment happening too but when a lot of those projects were defunded and um, became obsolete. Um, I don't know if you can see how windy it is right now, but our warm winter has finally disappeared for a couple of days and the winds are just ferocious and we have some vehicles that are kind of um, idling right now, riding it out, I guess. Um, this place was so creepy and so um, well stocked that there was a horror, well, I shouldn't say a horror film, but a thriller film made here with Joan Crawford and Robert Stack, which basically um, told the story of the beginnings of outpatient programs in the 1950s. And uh, I first became aware of this place uh, through friends, even though I knew that it existed before, and found out about the torture that was part of the treatment. Um, I don't know if they destroyed the connecting tunnels that are underground here, in addition to everything else that was in operation, but typical um, methods of cures at that time were, of course, ice pick lobotomies, ice baths, putting people into sound, um, sound treatments where people would have to listen to frightening, bizarre sounds. Um, to try to break them out of their psychosis, I guess. And um, I can say that around 2005, 2006, when I was coming up here a lot after returning from Europe, I did experience some hauntings here firsthand. Um, you can see a greenhouse up ahead here. And when I was walking here at night with some friends, I, at the edge of the wood, I, I said to my friends, oh, there's, there's some kind of presence here. And they're, they're trying to say that um, there's a couple, that there's a couple here that are indicating there are bodies here. And as soon as I said that, um, one of the lights back there just started flashing on and off, on and off, on and off, just continually. Um, I'll see if I can drive further ahead. Uh, some of the roads have been closed here as well. Um, if you can see where there is a highway ahead, um, at that time there were 1100 unmarked graves there because at the time if you had relatives there it was kind of a shameful thing and also I'm sure it had to do with legal and liability purposes as well um, somebody who lived down the road from my grandmother their brother worked in these greenhouses at one point and did benefit from the treatment.